Okay, we're just going to talk about how to install the OpenMC Workshop on Windows. So all the links um, will be provided in the description for this video, but we're on the UK AEA GitHub on the OpenMC Workshop page. You can save it by starring it here if you like. <laughs> so the Docker container installation section is straightforward. It's got four stages. And on Windows, we want to uh, install Docker from this link here. So this is a, a 500 megabyte download. And you just click Get Docker, and then it, it gets started. So 500 megabytes. I'm going to cancel that because I have actually got that downloaded already over here. Now, before we proceed, um, just launch the settings and look at the Windows features and just have a look at the Hyper-V and that should have a tick by it. So make sure you tick that. Um, that might necessitate restarting the computer, but uh, do that, do that first. And then install Docker. So for me, this is already installed. For you, this will be extracting, um, and then it will install. And then shortly afterwards, you should get a little Docker image here. Uh, and you can click on it, and it will load up, and it should have a little green color here. If it's red, um, there's a possibility that that's because you don't have WSL2 for Windows installed. So this link will be provided in the description, but this is a guide for installing that. Um, basically, you, you take uh, a few commands, that command, and that command, and that command, and you install them, uh, type them in, or copy and paste them into PowerShell. And you want to run PowerShell as administrator when you do that. Okay, but Docker did install for me, and I did get the green logo, so I, I've done that step already, and I have downloaded Windows SL, and um, yeah, it's already installed. So the other stages that we need to do are, uh, number two, download the OpenMC Workshop. So copy, paste, right mouse click to paste, and this is again already downloaded on my computer, and this is what it looks like when it's downloaded. It just downloads separate um, layers of the Docker image, and then eventually you have the whole Docker image. It's about 10 gigabytes, so it does take a while. This one is, um, I'm trying to download it again, so it will have a think about it, and then eventually it will say, you've already got the latest Docker file, so you don't need to download anything else. Okay, so next stage is to copy paste this run command. Right mouse click to paste. And then this will launch a Docker container. This contains OpenMC, DAGMC, the Paramac, uh, Neutronix Material Maker, lots of Python um, programs. And what we want to do is go to this, the last URL here. So I'm going to highlight it and copy it. And then in a new window, I'm going to navigate to that URL. So I just pasted that in there and it's navigated. So this is the workshop now. You've got tasks and each task, you can go in to the folder and you see subtasks and you can work through these subtasks and they're fairly self-explanatory. So some of them, like this one, um, have videos to describe what's happening. And that will play and give you a little audio description, so you might want headphones for that bit. These other sections are called code blocks, and you run them by holding shift and pressing enter. And then in this case, it plots a graph telling you about cross sections, um, other 
code blocks will do simulations, all sorts of things. So read the uh, descriptive text, watch the videos, and run the tasks, and try to understand what OpenMC is doing in each stage. Okay, I think that's about it. If you have any questions or if you find any mistakes, please do raise issues on the OpenMC workshop and we will get to fixing them. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoy the workshop. Bye.